Hello everyone. Uh, the topic we cover today is the structure of eye. So here we'll just go through the gross anatomy of eye. So if you come to this eye, we can say it is an important organ of sight which is located in the orbital cavity of skull. And the diameter, if you see the diameter of the eyeball, it is approximately 24 millimeter or we can say it is 2.4 centimeter. And coming to this eye, it is generally or broadly divided into two segments. One is an anterior segment and another is posterior segment. The anterior segment, it is approximately 1 by 6th of eyeball and the posterior segment is 5 by 6th of eyeball. And now we'll go detailly regarding the structure of eyeball. So if you come this eyeball, it is having anatomically, it is having three different layers. Outer layer, which contains sclera and cornea. And there's a middle layer, which contains the choroid. And there is an inner layer, that is the retina. And now we'll see one by one. Come to the outer layer of the eye, that is nothing but the sclera. So the sclera is, everyone knows what is the sclera, the white part or we'll say the white of the eye, that is nothing but the sclera. And the posterior 5 by 6 will be the sclera and which will be uh, made by the fibrous tissue. And the anterior 1 by 6th of uh, sclera will be transparent and that is termed as cornea and the light which enters into our eyeball through this particular cornea and this cornea which is made by or which, is, uh, which contains non-keratinized uh, stratified squamous epithelial cell. Now we'll move to the middle layer. The middle layer of the eyeball which is nothing but the choroid and if you see this choroid which is rich in blood vessel and it is a uh, dark brown in color we can see. And come to the anterior part of this uh, what we can say the choroid that is nothing but the ciliary body. If you come to this ciliary body, so here we can say it is an anterior continuation of choroid and which contains the ciliary muscles and this ciliary muscle in which the suspensory ligament of lens are attached. And there is one more uh, specialized cell, epithelial cells, which is seen in the ciliary bodies, which secrete a fluid which goes to the anterior segment of the uh, anterior chamber of the eyeball that is called as a aqueous humor. And come to the iris. So iris is nothing but these are the extension. We can say that from the ciliary body, there will be certain extension and that is only the colored visible part of our eye we can say that is the iris and if you see this iris usually it may be brown in color and sometimes depends on uh, some genetic nature it may we can see like a silver color or blue color that we can see but generally it will be brown in color at the center of this uh, iris there is an aperture that is called as pupil through this pupil light rays which will enters into the eyeball and which falls on the lens so these are the structures which comes under middle layer of eyeball and there is a lens lens is nothing but this is the highly elastic circular biconvex body and through which the light pass uh, light passes and which will uh, which will uh, goes to the retina then we'll go to the inner layer the inner layer of the eyeball is nothing but termed as retina and it is a delicate layer we can say and it contains a light sensitive structure or this layer is very much light sensitive and structurally if you see the retina it is a 10 layer of uh, 10 layers are seen in this particular retina and generally there are certain nerve cell it is highly rich with the nerve cell bodies and axon and it contains the sensory receptor cells are there the rods and cones so these are the structure or these are the important parts or structure we see in the retina. And if you come to the posterior side of the eyeball, near to the posterior middle, there is a part that we call as a yellow spot or maculolutea. And if you see this yellow spot, there is a depression, that depression is termed as fovea centralis. And at the back side of this uh, uh, eyeball, that all the, what we can say, the nerve cell, which is seen in the retina, which will converge and which leaves from the 
eyeball that is termed as an optic nerve and the area of the eyeball that will be at the back side or the posterior side so the where the area of eyeball there the optic nerve leaves that area if you observe there is no receptor cells are present that area is termed as blind spot or optic disc so these are the various structures of but we can say eyeball the outer layer middle layer and inner layer this is the essential organ of uh, sight we can say and apart from this one we have certain accessory organs or accessory structures which will be related to the eye so one is eyebrows everyone knows what is eyebrow eyebrow is nothing but it is a skin covered area of orbital ridge of frontal lobe and there is an eyelid eyelid is nothing but it's a connective tissue especially the tarsal plate will say the tarsal plate which is covered with the skin that is the eyelid and in this eyelid we can say which protect the eye from the light and from the foreign substances and this eyelid contains certain sebaceous gland this sebaceous gland is termed as meibomian glands which secrete sebum or which helps the eye to keep the moisture then there are certain cilia like structure or hair follicles are present what we call the eyelashes Uh, then there is another structure what we call as palpebral fissure palpebral fissure is nothing but the space between two two eyelids that is termed as a palpebral fissure and apart from this one there are lacrimal gland which secrete the tears so these are the associated structure or accessory structures so eyeball or eye we can say so these are the uh, various gross structure or gross anatomy of eye so today we have seen regarding what is eye and what is the gross anatomy of the eye and uh, that's all for today's class this is vishan signing off till we meet the next class thank you